Congress today is because of you. The reason why dozens of members of Congress are boycotting the war criminal Benjamin Netanyahu is because of you. Your work matters. Your sacrifices matter. Your mobilizations, you coming outside, matters, and it is not in vain. I want to say to the young people, those who sacrifice their scholarships, their graduations, their future employments for the people of Palestine, that will not be in vain. that harbors our own war criminals. And at the top of that list is President Joe Biden. We got a lot of work to do and nothing changes. It doesn't matter who the presumptive nominee is for the Democratic Party. You stay outside. You stay focused. You don't get distracted. We want a weapons in Margo. We want to end military. that is close to the sacrifices of the Palestinian people. And I promise you, here today, that one day all of us will travel to a free Palestine and we will sit on the beaches of Gaza and watch the children of Gaza play in joy under bright skies. And it will be because Surrounding the Capitol is an utter gridlock, thanks to the organization and unity of the people. Hang in tight, we only have a couple more speakers before we join our comrades in the streets and show them the Yahoo and the other criminals what we're about today. Next, it's my absolute pleasure to introduce from Doctors Against Genocide, Dr. Nida Jabur will introduce the speaker from Doctors Against Genocide. Please, please give it up for them. Hello, everyone. Hello, the real patriot Americans, the people of conscience, and shame on the others who are complicit in genocide. Ashat Gaza. Long live Gaza! We are here to tell the people in Gaza, the children, the women, the women, the elderly, the men, that doctors against genocide are with you. We are here for you. All the people of conscience are here. Speaking your voice now, I'm introducing Dr. Karama Hawash, the co-founder of Doctors Against Genocide. Thank you. Good afternoon. I want to tell you what Doctors yeah, Against Genocide is all about. We are uplifting the medical community voices against war crimes, crimes against humanity, and genocide. We identified the genocide in Gaza very early on because genocide is a health hazard. It kills people 
and we are seeing how our colleagues in Gaza are being killed. Our, the hospitals are being destroyed. The children are being maimed. The women with infants are being starved. The men are killed and watching their families being obliterated. <laughs> Dr. Jumana Hinti is one of our members. I am honored to introduce her. She came back from Gaza on the 21st of May. What's your opinion on that? Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. So as you just heard, I came back from Gaza uh, from a medical mission in May. And there I witnessed all the massacres, all the atrocities that are being committed every day with our own tax money. I've seen the children who are shot in their heads and their legs and burnt 70% of their bodies or more burnt, uh, maggots coming out of their wounds, people with multiple fractures, they can't have surgery because there are no surgical supplies. Um, women with no medical care who are having strokes because they're not taking their medications. All those atrocities um, that tell us that the death rate that we hear about and the Congress does not believe is actually, yes, we don't believe it too. It's much higher than what they report. I also befriended and was working with so many healthcare workers there who are the most amazing people I've ever seen in my life. Some of them were taken hostages and tortured and then sent down from the north to the south without knowing anything about their families. And then they, they committed their life to volunteer at the hospital, at the European hospital. And after I left, a few weeks later, the European hospital was evacuated. And that was extremely devastating for them and for me, to to totally devastating. Um, now they're out in the streets. They don't have anywhere to go. They can't volunteer even because there are no, not that many functional hospitals that they can work at. And so the atrocities keep getting worse and worse and worse. The healthcare structure over there is completely disseminated. So I have a few messages today. One, the first message is for you, the great people who have come from all around the states and the people who couldn't come, but they continue to work there every day to support and stop this genocide, to support um, the people of Gaza and stop the genocide. I also would like to tell Congress to stop denying that it's a genocide. Welcoming a war criminal and a genocide maniac to Congress is shameful. Shame on you. <laughs> to our colleagues in healthcare here in the United States who are, are denying the atrocities that are being committed every day, and our medical organizations that have not said a word condemning the genocide. Shame on you. assure you that you are on the wrong side of history. And last but not least, to our beautiful people of Gaza, we will never surrender. We will never stop fighting for you. Stay strong. You, we are with you. And we'll see you. Criminals should be held accountable. Thank you.